we start. Hey guys, um, just quick update today. I was going to go outside but it was really humid and hot and then I decided to stay indoor. Hope you guys don't mind. And also there's a thunderstorm probably on its way and you will probably hear some thunder from outside. Uh, so a um, bit of change. Look, today I've done exactly the same setup apart from removed the uh, dead cat wing muffler. So because I'm indoor and that a Rode Video Micro dead cat wing muffler is not the best for keeping the sun transparent, especially in the high frequency. So I removed that. Uh, still um, the same line audio CM4 microphone on top of the camera on the Wulanzi cold shoe adapter on the right hand side it's like a T-shaped adapter uh, on the right side and the left side a small rig super clamp clamped down the I rig pre-2 check the thumbnail and check my description below I will um, detail what I did but basically if you check the last uh, episode which I did outdoor walking with the Z-axis stabilizer, which is here. The stabilizer. Yeah, it's exactly the same setup apart from on top of the stabilizer. Now it's um, on the um, stand. So in terms of stand, I know I said I wasn't a tripod fan. And indeed, I didn't buy a tripod. What I've got, I want to show you guys, is the new stand. So I am actually can sort of move it anywhere I want. It's all portable. It's all portable. Look, it's all portable. I just got to be careful. Oh, by the way, how, how was the handling noise? Was that really noisy when I touched the camera? When I touched the stand? Yeah. So I'll show you guys, it's a set of two from the brand called iFootage. iFootage have the round based stand, monopod stand. iFootage has established themselves in the recent Cobra lineup. Um, they see 120, 150, 180, especially the 180 version. C180, the version 2, Cobra 2 has gained really, really positive feedback from everyone used them. So what they did was a round-based, round-based monopod with a flat top and a three eight and a quarter inch screw two in one. And then I've got the smaller version, which is called the A200. Where is it? The A200. So the iFootage A200, you can use it for all sorts of things on the tabletop, for your microphone, for your lighting, for, you know, anything you want. Small LED panel light, yeah. And the 200 and 300, they sell as a set. I think on their iFootage website for 149 US dollars. I got it through a overseas vendor and shipping internationally so it cost me quite a bit more i think i end up paying around 320 australian dollars which is normal you know you pay double the us price to get something in australia on time or you order through australian authorized retailer and put on a three to six months waiting list and then you end up paying 280 290 so for $30 more, you get it right now instead of waiting because iFootage hasn't really established as the bigger brands um, the distribution network. So it takes a lot longer to reach a smaller market like Australia. Um, with the i200, uh, I can show you because I'm using the 300 for the base and I put a, I don't know if you can see, a stick the uh, soft material to reduce the, the noise. It's all metal. And this is the microphone arm I'm using it with. So I can put a microphone um, clamp or a shock mount, even without a shock mount, just like this. I can just put it on. I just put this one on and I'll be fine, right? So 
Yep. And I put it on a tabletop, right? Um, for example, I put it here. Then I bend the arm towards me. Bend the arm towards me. So it'll be out of the frame, out of the frame. The microphone will point into my mouth upwards, out of the frame and on the tabletop. It will be quite stable. And uh, I think that's a great solution. It's a great solution. I've been looking for something like this for a while. And lucky I found this because if you think about it, for a small space, the tripod have big leg. Even the traditional mic mic stand have big legs spreading out. And if you have one for microphone, one for lighting, then you have too many legs crossing to each other and all the cables dangling around. So this is really neat. This is really neat, neat solution. And you can put something heavy on this to give the most stability if you need it to. Like they sell a iFootage sell a aqua pack. You can fill up with stones, I guess, or sand or water to seal it up. It's a donut shape. So you put it on the base of the 300 and then you can put really heavy stuff, a light uh, soft box or something. Yeah, I'll give it a try. So as I said, I still prefer hand holding vlog. So how I'm gonna integrate this with my outdoor style, I haven't decided. But at least this one give me something indoor, really easy to set up really quick. And if I wanna take the camera off, I can at any time. I can take the camera off. Yeah, now look, I am walking and moving with no, no restraint. Look, I can take this with the A300. And if I put it down, I put it down, then and we set back to here, right? Yeah, back to here. So it's really convenient for indoor use. And I, what I'm thinking, if I buy one of those leveling base, you know, like Leo Photo sell those leveling base, uh, even the budget brand, the newer on Amazon, they sell, sell the leveling base. You can get like plus minus 15 degree with a level bubble. If I put on leveling base at the bottom and I can even use this outdoor on a not perfectly flat ground a little bit, not much because the, the weight gonna tip it over unless you put really heavy stuff at the bottom. So what I'm thinking is if, if it's in a slight slope or not very perfectly flat, you put a leveling base and then you put the pole on the top and it will be perfectly usable. By the way, I, I forgot to show you that. This is the 200 pole. So you got a 3 8 female at the bottom. And a funny thing is it's opposite way. So normally, you know, the base will be the thicker part and the top will be the skinnier part. And this is like a tripod. So it's the, it's the, the top part is the thicker part and the base is the thinner part. So this one hold uh, connected to the base and this is the top. It's got a rubberized platform with three quarter and with a quarter inch, quarter inch as well. So I don't know if you guys can see it. It's, it's a quarter inch and three quarter in one. Yeah. Yeah, that, that is that. And it's, it's, it's built really well. I mean, you feel like a quality product. It doesn't feel cheaply made. And it, is, it isn't cheap, right? For 149 US dollar, you get two base, two legs, for two different purposes. I was even thinking by another long one for, you know, a two light setup, then I might be able to get rid of softbox. The softbox is kind of bulky. So yeah, that's a quick channel update. How is audio today? Um, because the way the camera is and the shock mount and then the Koshu adapter. So when the camera facing my mouth, the microphone is actually a good 10 centimeter above my mouth. So I really hope the wide cardio pattern of this Line Audio CM4 help with the pickup. If the audio level is really low, 
I might have to boost it in post, but I hope I don't need to do that. I like to show you guys the raw footage straight out of camera. The reason I like to do that, one is for demonstration purposes. You guys know if you get this set up, what are you gonna get out of the camera? Instead of spending, you know, time in Audition, Logic Pro or, you know, DaVinci Resolve. This is straight out of camera footage with the audio straight into the camera. No thinking, no postal processing. The only postal processing I did was with Windows default video editor, putting two separate recording together and then export. That's all I did for two minutes. No subtitle added, no, you know, script or anything. Oh, by the way, it starts to rain outside now. I can hear the, the rain drop on the window. Don't know if you guys can hear that. I'll keep quiet for five seconds. Hmm. Yeah, anyway, yeah, lucky I didn't go outside. I don't mind getting wet. I like to get wet. I, I think the RP, even it's not water resist, it should be okay in a light storm, rain. But the small condenser microphone, I really don't think it will handle the rain. It should be kept dry at all times. That's what uh, Roger told me from Line Audio. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't even have a solution unless I buy the super, super, super expensive, which costs four times the, the microphone or five times the microphone price from Ryko. It's called a nano shield. You get a shield, you get a blimp, and you get a wing jammer on top. And that will completely isolate the microphone. Maybe it will be sort of light rain resist. I still don't know. Maybe those, ex um, you know the sports stadium, they use the big pickup microphone with a long blimp. There must be a water resist uh, microphone, not the common, you know, indoor musical you know, for music instruments, um, small condenser or long shotgun. I, I guess they are different, but I have no knowledge in sports, uh, outdoor concert kind of um, application. So yeah, it's a fun journey. And uh, see you guys next episode. Bye for now.